This is a Honda CRV 2.2i DTEC EST station wagon five door. Bit of a mouthful there. Um, it's a diesel manual, 148 brake horsepower. The car has done 71,717 miles. Um, like new inside and out, kind of a dark grey metallic um, with leather uh, and Alcantara seats. Front central armrest, fuel economy 35.3 urban, 50.4 extra urban, and 43.5 combined. 0 to 60 in 9.6 seconds and a top speed of 118 miles an hour. Good spec as all Hondas. Um, I can virtually say that every Honda I've ever sold can't remember having one back for any problems and I've sold a lot of Hondas in my time so uh, I'm particularly fond of these models particularly fond of this sort of SUV version bags of room in it higher or elevated seating position plenty of glass you can see all round um, and as I say a, a, a real good spec to go with it I'll just take you for a ride in it I'll try and tell you a few things about it on the way First impressions, seats are like armchairs. Um, I have had several of these before, always good sellers. <laughs> as soon as I try and get out of here when I'm filming, cars come from everywhere and pedestrians do too. So, we're off. but height and reach adjustable steering wheel, multi-function, cruise control on the right, audio on the left, a sat nav, Some usual kind of roller glove box there and one underneath, six speed gearbox, It's got headlamp wash. It's also got power folding door mirrors. The air conditioning is lovely and cold today, so it's a warm day in the UK. Heated seats. You've got not exactly a conventional handbrake, but it's more like a pilot's throttle um, handbrake, but it's, it's really good because you can get plenty of leverage on it, pull back nice and hard, make sure you're not going to go anywhere. Alloy wheels, it has plastic wheel arch and sill protectors. It's also got a kind of a dual floor um, boot. It's a separate compartment so you don't pile all your shopping onto each other and squash the bottom stuff. It has a, a separate layer or a spacer that you can put stuff on top and then you've got the load cover so it's hidden from uh, praying eyes. It's a virtually flat load space as well. The, the whole tailgate opens up and even a section of the rear bumper I suppose is on the bottom of the tailgate. Tells you when to change up and down on the uh, display there in the rev counter. You've got a fuel computer in the centre. I always forget to take the stuff out of the glove box. And that's the rattle you just heard. Great engine. Lovely gearbox too. Nice and quiet. Virtually no noise whatsoever.
very comfortable ride. That'll be the locking, yep. That'll be the locking wheel look here, I think, in the glove box. Try and route it out if the lights are on red up here so it doesn't spoil the rest of the, the ride. change to green immediately. We'll see. Yep, that's it. in which was I think it was um, gosh what, what would it be I think it was a um, 2000 and uh, it's done a few miles but it still drove like brand new I promised him that 
they could have my mobile number if anything went wrong day or night his wife was to ring me and I would sort the car out for her I've still got the same mobile phone to this day I still see the car driving around Preston to this day um, and I've never had a phone call so as I say Hondas I rate really really highly um, no, no, certainly no problem selling these registration number in front there, I'm, I'm assuming that the name's Crystal, CR15TOL, could be a Christian name, could be a surname, I'm not sure. some of these Hondas as well with a lot of miles on going up towards the 200,000 mile mark again they still drive like brand new Actually, I'm not going to go back along the motorway, I'm going to go back the, uh, the old way. Gearbox is just beautiful. It's basically a, a, a one finger change. It's looking like it's got uh, Bluetooth as well, although that appears to be a uh, aftermarket sat nav stroke CD radio. Very, very futuristic there as well. So you've got SD card slot in there as well as CD, and it tells me it is Bluetooth and it plays MP3 and also. Uh, WMA I would imagine that bit will slide off as well for safety but it uh, could be wrong I'm wondering whether a stream your uh, music from your phone through it as well which I'll check when we get back to the garage it's quite a bumpy road this as well so when I'm just testing saloon cars or sports cars I tend to go back along the motorway otherwise you get loads of noise bumps and the camera is shaking all over the place but again with this the suspension on it is uh, really really comfortable white van man can't wait there so he's overtaking us all totter 
absolute tosser. A lot more important than the other people who were just queuing to let the guy get in. Got a full service history. Um, I think it's. Uh, I think it's had six services and was last serviced about 5,000 miles ago. MOT till January 2018. All the tyres are good. Sensors too. crossing there always makes me smile. If I can remember I'll try and find a, a letter that was written to one of the newspapers about the deer crossing <laughs> where somebody wrote in and said that they put the deer crossing on the busiest part of the road they should move it to a quieter part. can read signs. Uh, just out, we've got a, a live chat back at the garage. Unfortunately, I can't take it here, so hopefully, uh, either John or Auto Trader have picked it up. 